What is up people and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use spells while you're on your broom in Hogwarts Legacy using this glitch. So let's get straight into the video. So you're going to want to come to this location on the map. I'm going to show you on the actual map now. So I'm in the Hogsmeade Valley region, just outside of Hogsmeade to the left of the bridge that brings you to the main entrance. So you want to go right where my cursor is. This is the view. You've got the bridge and this pink cherry blossom tree to my right. And then we've got this river flowing under the bridge. The waterfall is just to our left. And we've got this little rock platform down here. So this is where you want to come to. The way that we're going to do this glitch is by walking towards this rock face that's in front of us. And when we get to the point where I pull out my wheel, that's when we're gonna pull out our wheel and take out our broom. And if done correctly, we should lit through the rocks slightly and we'll be pretty much instantly walking on our broom. So you'll know that you've done it correctly if you start walking on your broom. Now this is a bit difficult. It usually takes me about three to four times to get it done. In this video, it actually took me a little bit longer but it's a quick reset time. So where I'm aiming the cursor in between these two spaces, that's roughly where you want to walk towards, where I found most effective. And where I'm aiming on the ground here, this little white rock, I found that if you want to be either slightly to the left of it or walking directly over it and pulling out your broom roughly when you're on that stone or just a little bit past, you'll kind of figure it out as you do it what will work best. Another thing I found that helps is you don't want to hold out your wheel and take long to select your broom like I'm doing here. You want to make, do it very quickly so once you get to the point where you think you should take out your broom, press L1 quickly and then hold circle to take out your broom. But don't hold your wheel out for very long because I feel like that makes it a lot harder for some reason. Maybe it's just me. So you can see now I'm making my attempts. And if you have a failed attempt, you just dismount straight away and you can jump back down. So that's what's handy. Even if it is a bit difficult, there's not a big long process to get to the starting point once again. So that was our third attempt, I believe. Like I said, just keep trying. So we're walking towards that spot, that white stone on the ground. Pulling out our broom when we're roughly over it, just past it. And aiming for that space that I showed you earlier. Probably on attempt six or seven now, I think. But we should be getting a sound. So you can see now I'm trying to walk slightly more to the left of the stone instead of directly over it can see I'm lining myself up good few attempts but we will get it don't worry trying to figure it out now I'm pulling it a bit too close but as you can see we got it and that's it so now you're able to walk around on your broom. You can see I still have my one do. And I'm also able to press L2 to go faster on the broom and I get this weird sort of angle. I can hold R2 to go slightly faster. And you can see I'm using some spells here. No problem. Incendio. Using an incendio. Confringo. Some bigger spells, so you can use both types, which is very cool. So what I'm going to do now is head over to a mongrel layer to show you some settings, which is going to make this a bit more enjoyable because it is a bit clunky. It's not really supposed to be done, but I'll show you what you can do to make it a bit better. Okay, I'm at a mongrel layer now, and the reason I want to come here is because with certain enemies like wizards or goblins that have the long range attacks like the spells or the crossbow bolts and such 
you're kind of vulnerable while you're on top of the broom so it's not the ideal enemy to fight whereas mongrels or inferni they have attacks which can only really affect you while you're on the ground are more fun to fight especially in the beginning if you're trying to get used to this because as you can see here it's not the most effective thing in the world like I said earlier it's not really meant to be done but there are one or two sentences you can tweak to make it a bit easier so I'm going to show you them now so the first thing I recommend you doing is go into your sentence go into accessibility which is the second one from the bottom and then you're going to put toggle aim mode on now all that's going to do is make it easier for you to hit your targets because you're on the broom if you hold L2 to aim your cursor you're automatically going to start flying fast on the broom like you see here but if you switch toggle aim mode on all you have to do is tap L2 and then you're able to walk instead of flying very fast which makes it a lot easier to hit things like you see here now I have one more setting for you to make this a bit of a better experience so go to your settings and you're going to go to gameplay options I go to accessibility here by accident and you're going to turn off invert flight controls now you might already have it off I'm not too sure but turn it off and I feel like this with the toggle aim mode works much better together maybe you'll be able to get used to the other way but I just feel like with the angles of the broom you see the way I'm flying up and down here for some reason it feels much more natural and it's what I'd recommend but do whatever seems best to you now in this clip I'm just showing you myself using the basic spells and special spells alongside the toggle aim mode on and the invert flight controls turned off which I feel like makes this glitch somewhat usable as you can see here I use a Vada Cadaver against one of the undead, I'm not sure why, but a cool glitch nonetheless, if you want to reset at any point, all you need to do is fast travel to a flu flame, and that will reset you and you'll be back to normal, if you try and dismount, you're more than likely going to end up going under the map, or halfway into the map, or you'll have something else happen to you, possibly, so I don't recommend doing that, if you want to see how I got the potion in my hand as well, that's in the thumbnail, that's not edited in so just click this link here and other than that i hope you enjoyed the video or found it helpful if you did please consider subscribing thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Are we?